Hey, I'm Imran Web Squad, and we're here to help you get the best out of Elementor WordPress for you, your clients, and your business. I'm here today talking about Wix versus Squarespace versus Elementor and Elementor Cloud. Now, you, you've all heard of Wix and Squarespace, right? They're all over YouTube and advertisements all the time. They often have a celebrity or a well-known business talking about how they built a pretty amazing website using a system that is just purely drag and drop, and it was so simple and easy. I'm gonna ask you just to kind of not get drawn into that and understand that there are limitations to Wix and Squarespace, okay? And let me get, get, let me get those out right now, and then we move on to where I, why I think you should use Elementor and probably Elementor Cloud. Wix and Squarespace and others like Shopify as well, when you buy into them with your domain or your hosting, Whatever you pay a month, okay, and they have varied prices and packages, okay. Believe me, none of them are good economically, in my opinion. But what you're doing is you're buying into their infrastructure. So when you build a Wix website, you can do stuff with it, but it is now purely within the Wix ecosystem. Just like with Squarespace, just like with Shopify as well. What that means is that if you now decide you want to take your website elsewhere, and I'll explain why you'd want to do that, you can't. Your website has been built using the Wix mainframe, whatever you want to call it. Same with Squarespace, same with Shopify, same with other platforms as well. Some um, uh, cheap hosting platforms, they offer a page builder, but you're tied in. When you're stuck in that infrastructure, you can't get your website out. You can't take your website to somewhere else where you're going to get more bang for your buck for your money. You know, it might be more storage space, might be better security, might be backups and stuff like that. You can't do it. You're stuck. Now, here's where I want to touch on why you really don't want to buy into an infrastructure system like that. They will give you stuff as part of what you pay monthly. And you might think this is great, but the moment you want to have something extra, like you've got a shop website, but you want to do something slightly different, or a blogging website, or an appointment booking, or you're renting out rooms or cars or whatever. Music, radio station website, right? You have to pay extra. Because all of these extra add-ons, they're not cheap. Most of them are not even free. And then you've got to like go to like a marketplace app or something like that to get it. And all of a sudden, you got drawn into using Wix because everyone's heard of Wix, Squarespace. Well, we've got famous Hollywood stars that promote it as well. And you think, well, it must be a good thing. I've used them. I've used Shopify. I used Wix when it was first out and recently. I've used Squarespace and I detest them quite simply because you are so limited as to what you can do. Now, I am not here doing this to say you've got to use Elementor or Elemental Cloud, I love them, but I'm not here to tell you that. I'm just telling you from experience, why is it beneficial? And what I'm gonna say relates to anything that you could do that is not tied into their infrastructure. I'm talking about WordPress. WordPress is an infrastructure as well. Hold on, I've just contradicted myself. What am I doing? Great Scott, no. The WordPress infrastructure is so vast it's unbelievable. Over 40% of websites in the world are built and still being built with WordPress. Why? Because it is versatile in the amount of people who know how to use it. You go into a room of 100 website designers and you say, how many of you use Wix? You might get five hands. How many use, use Squarespace? You might get five more. Shopify, you might get a bit more than five. How many of hard coders? You might get five. So let's say 20 out of the um, 100 use those solutions, right? Five, five, five. You then say, how many of you use WordPress? And I'm pretty sure all 100 would put their hand up. So imagine you're getting a website built and your developer drops dead or disappears or does a runner. And you now need support or help to work on your website. You've now got a bigger room of people you can um, uh, work with and the amount of extra plugins and add-ons that you get for free there are premium stuff you can get but the amount of stuff you can get for free is amazing every day there's a new plugin coming out something that takes your website further that's the beauty of wordpress 
Now, I am a strong believer in Elemental. For me, it's the best page builder out there. Anyone can do it. You don't have to be a massive expert on web design. You can do it. And the reason why I like Elemental Cloud as well is because for $99, you get the use of Elemental Pro, the premium version, and you get Google Cloud Hosting. $99 a year. Google Cloud Hosting. Just think about that, okay? Compare that to maybe the $89 or whatever you pay a month for Wix or Squarespace or whatever. Just compare that. And here's the other great thing about using Elemental Cloud or even just a WordPress website. You don't like where you are, the hosting, the speed, the backups, the storage space or whatever. It is a WordPress website. You can download it and you can go anywhere you want. You can go to 123Reg, you can go here, you can go there, you can go where you want, SiteGround, wherever you want, go where you want. You can import your website, everything. The back end, the front end, the way it looks, the email addresses, the logins, everything. You can literally install it and move it. What does that mean? Well, basically, you're not now tied into just one hosting provider infrastructure. Yes, it is still a WordPress infrastructure, but you can go where you want. When you're unhappy with Wix, you're kind of stuck there. When you're unhappy with Shopify or Squarespace, you're stuck there. If I'm with a hosting provider and then the following year the prices go up or the service ain't so good or I had a bad experience with their customer service, I can lift and shift. I can take it where I want. And that is the freedom you get with a WordPress website. I hope that is making sense because I am not against anyone using Wix or Squarespace or Shopify. If you want to use it, go for it. But have you really thought out the fact that, well, what if I want to move? It's a bit like me saying to you, your car insurance, your house insurance, where you go to get your meals, you know, which supermarket do you go to and stuff like that. The moment they're not working to your standards or your satisfaction, you don't stick around, do you? You kind of move. When your car has run its course, you might get a new one, right? It's the way life works. But what if I now said to you, Welcome to our wonderful town, the Web Squadron town. We've got 20 shops here. But because you bought a ticket for that shop, you're only allowed to use that shop. But everyone else, you can use the other 19. And at any time you decide to change your mind or your style or your fashion, you can change shop. You can go where you want. Do what you want, okay? We're here to look after you. But there's 19 other staff members that are here to answer your questions. But the one person that went over there to the tied-in infrastructure, sorry, you're tied in there. You're stuck there now. If you really care about your SEO, your performance of your website, using new dynamic, funky plugins and stuff and taking your website further, growing it as your business grows, you've got to go with WordPress. So whether you use Elementor or Elemental Cloud or not, that's up to you. I'm not here to push that on you. But I'm saying WordPress, because WordPress, you've got page builders, Elemental, Divi, Oxygen, so many other ones out there, okay? I prefer Elemental. I think I've said that enough now. But you can do and use what you want, grow it how you want, and you've got hundreds of thousands of designers out there to work with. Next time you speak to someone who's a web designer, say to them, what, what would you recommend if you had to compare WordPress to Wix? to Shopify, to Squarespace, ask them and just see what their response is. I hope this gets you thinking a little bit about some of the solutions you might have considered and how I'm just trying to help you out to not make the mistake I see a lot of people make who end up then having to redo everything on WordPress because they suddenly realized what sounded good at the start wasn't great. I hope you like, subscribe, share and follow. I hope I keep hearing and seeing you. Take care, I'm Imran Web Squadron.